Who are you to dream? Who are you to actually think that what's on your heart will actually come to fruition? Who are you to actually have a vision of something and actually chase after that vision? I mean, who are you? I mean, most people, they get up every day, they work a job that they can't stand, they come home, they need a drink because their job sucks, and they know that their job sucks. Everyone in their family is affected by how much the job sucks, and and their relationship isn't great, so they need another drink, and then before you know it, you're in a, in a sexless, happy, happyless life existence. I used to have a friend whose dad he used to hate Sundays. And I was like, why, why you hate Sundays? Because it's so close to Monday. Then when I got older, I started hating Sundays. I started dreading Sundays. And I was sitting there thinking like, why, why do I hate Sundays? What is it about Sundays that I don't like? Well, see, in the beginning of the day, Sunday is cool. But at the end of the day, I got a plan for Monday. And on Monday, I'm going to do something that I hate. Now, if this is your life, I just want to ask this question. Are you worthy of loving what you do. Like a guy, a, a friend of mine asked me, he was like, hey, do you think you can change, change your nine to five with your five to nine? So like a nine to five would be the job that you have during the day and your five to nine is what you do when you enjoy life, right? So could you switch the two? Like, could you make the five to nine, that thing that you do at the end of the day, could you make that your nine to five? Is that possible? Like, and, and do you have, are you worthy of that sort of lifestyle? Like that sort of love? Like I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, this is not for everyone to have their hobby be the way that they pr produce health and wealth within their life. But if you have a vision of that, and the thing that's keeping you from that vision is the fact that you've been taught that you're not good enough. Like you're, you're, whatever the dream is, whatever your talent is, whatever that thing is, you don't have it. You're not going to have it. And matter of fact, fall in line and be safe because you're going to go and step outside the line. And when you do, you're going to get shot. And when you get shot, you're going to fall in front of everybody. And I told you to stay in line. That's my life. Man, I can't tell you how many times I've heard some people that love me, that want me the best for me, that came to me and they said, hey, Nick, we love you. Stop trying to be this person that loves everybody. Quit worrying about other folks. Quit worrying, quit thinking about starting a business. You're not even good at math. What are you doing, right? Get in line and do something where you can fall in and be safe. But not everybody's called to that level of safety. Some of us are called to journey. Some of us are called to live. Some of us are called to breathe. There's this great thing about these horses, these Mustangs, right? They're wild horses throughout the, uh, there's an island in North Carolina, these wild horses run around, right? And they're like, we have no idea how they withstand hurricanes. We have no idea how they continue to get food. But they're alive and they love they they're living and they're majestic and they're beautiful. And the thing is, they really don't have like a great way to defend themselves from the elements, from other things, but they're alive and they've been alive for hundreds of years. How do they do it? I don't know. I can't say how the Mustangs live. I don't know how the Mustangs live. But what I do know is is there are some some animals out there that aren't in captivity that are absolutely loving life together. They don't got vets. They don't got people bringing them hay and food. They are finding it and they are being inventive and they are alive. I challenge you to actually live. I know there's gonna be somebody who's gonna be watching this video that wishes that they were alive, that, 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 that wishes that their job spawned a level of life within them. And, 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 and the thing that we've been taught is that the dreams that you had were great for children, but when you get a certain age, stop dreaming, stop living this life, and fall in line. That's not for everybody. Create your own destiny. Create your own greatness. Create your own life. Create your own version of love and live it to the full. And let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, if you are in a situation where you're like, I'm just not worthy, I just, who am I to live this kind of a life? Don't get mad when somebody else is. Like, don't be jealous when you see, this is the thing, dude, this, uh, this thing is so crazy. I, I know so many beautiful women that are like, oh, I bet you she did that to get that, man, right? You know what I'm saying? Well, you didn't. 